Hi everyone, Renee from Tippy.com here, and we are looking at iOS 4 folders on an iPhone 4. We've looked at them before, but not with this uh, beautiful Retina display, so I don't know how well the macro will let you see this, but on the Retina display, you can really see the little icons inside the folder. You know the drill by now, you tap on it, it shows you what's inside. Tap anywhere else, it goes away. If I want to add anything to the folder, I just put them in jiggly mode, drag it over, drop it in. I can open the folder out. If I no longer want it there, I can yank it out. Uh, if I yank everything out of the folder, the folder goes away. I can rename the folder. Um, there's only a couple little hitches with this. You know, First of all, it's not a hierarchy, it's not a file system. Uh, and actually, I don't want it to be. I don't want to be digging through multiple levels of, uh, you know, uh, cascading folders or embedded folders. I'm fine with one level. But for example, you can see here there's pretty much room for just nine icons, but you can put 12 apps inside the folder. So once you get past the nine first apps, you have no idea what the other apps are in the folder. And on a retina display, you can see them well enough to know. So those apps basically become hidden except from memory. Now, people would probably be uh, equally upset if Apple had limited it to nine. It would have been less apps overall, but um, there's got to be some solution for that maybe coming in the next version. Uh, a few other little tricks that you probably know already but we'll just go over is you can also yank stuff out of the dock and put a folder into the dock and then you now have access to that folder on all of your screens. It's just there. So you could theoretically have 12 times 4. Where's Leanna when I need her? 48. Um, You, you could theoretically have 48 um, folders, 48 apps in your dock, and instead of 180 apps, you can have 200 and 2,160, which maybe only Matt Sawyer had. And instead of um, 180 apps, you can have, you know, 200 and 2,160, which is a huge amount of apps on your phone. And yes, it is still a very app-centric, launcher-based interface. But we hold hope for the future because Apple has done a lot of side to side, but they haven't done any up or down yet. So maybe in a future version, we'll be able to scroll up to get to widgets, scroll down to get to um, panoramas. Who knows? Uh, it is like multitasking, keeping the users very much in a familiar place. So people who are coming to it from a previous version of the iPhone OS won't get lost. Apple is very good at keeping you oriented and in context.